In today's video, we are going on a Michelin adventure where we try out three different beef noodle soup restaurants to see exactly just how amazing they really are. It's going to be a fun filled video so I hope you stay tuned and let's go get some beef noodle soup. For our first restaurant that we're going to, it's called Ling Dong Fan and it's right behind me. They're one of the most popular places to get beef noodle soup as they've been featured on the Michelin Guide for many years. I've been dying to try them out for so long now I finally got a chance, so let's go! So we just entered into Ling Dong Fan and I have to say inside is actually pretty nice, very spacious, lots of seats. Anyways, you'll be given a menu which as you can see they have quite a bit of different beef noodle soups for instance look at all these noodle soups oh wow they got beef noodle beef soup half tendon half beef beef tripe beef tendon and so much more but we're here to try their original beef noodle soup and the one i'm gonna get is half tendon half beef noodle soup so that's what i'm gonna order all right so beef noodle soup just the right i'd say they made it pretty fast like literally right after we placed the order it, it came out literally like two to three minutes that's how fast it was and the beef noodle soup over here looks so so good it smells so aromatic so there's tendon there's beef noodles chives and oh everything about it just so good they also give you this complimentary uh beef noodle spice sauce or something but we'll try it in a little bit let's try the beef noodle soup first because this is what i've been dying to try let's try the bear let's try the noodles first because this looks good Ooh. oh it looks super hot let's blow on it yeah let's give it a try mm. oh that is interesting the noodle itself has a really nice bouncy and chewy texture soaks up the broth very nicely these were good noodles a little bit on the thicker side usually i like my noodles a little bit thinner but still very good let's try it with the beef oh as you can see look at this beef look at how beautiful this is that thick slice of beef oh man let's see how this tastes mm. oh that beef is so tender so soft it literally falls apart the minute you bite into it so juicy too as you see there's even some bits of tendon inside the beef oh this is what i'm talking about this is a good beef noodle soup oh man where's the tendon actually like the the long tendon oh this is gonna be hard to pick up i'm gonna need a spoon for this let's get this out as you can see they even have tendon over here too like look at this big piece of tendon oh this this is my favorite let's give it a bite mm. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. The tendon is so gelatinous, so fatty, so beefy. It is like beef yellow. That is how good it is. Oh, that is a good beef tendon. This is a good beef noodle soup. Plus, it's very cheap. So, if we come here, they have two different sizes. You get a small or a large. I got a small version because I'm going to like three other beef noodle restaurants. But even still, a small is a good portion. Like, this is some good beef noodle soup. Mmm. Oh, absolutely incredible. But they also have this, the little spicy paste that you're supposed to put in. This is what it's been recommended. So let's try this out. Add a little bit of the spicy paste in here. I guess I just dumped the whole thing in. And mix it around. So according to the Michelin Guide, you're supposed to use a spicy paste and mix it really well because that's what makes the beef noodle stand out. Let's pour it around, mix it, mix it, mix. And let's grab some beef, let's grab some noodles, grab some beef, and mix it well, and let's give it a bite. Mmm, oh, ooh, that has a nice spice to it. It's like, it's not too spicy, but it just has a light, subtle spiciness. That's a little bit, um, it kind of tastes like fermented spice, but very good. It pairs perfectly well with this beef noodle soup. Very good combination. Just in case you're wondering, this restaurant, Ling Dong Fang, they were featured back on the Michelin Guide, I think back in the year 2018. I think that's when it was. That's when it became really popular. And not only that, they are also known for their tofu. I'm not really sure what's so special about the tofu, but apparently it's really good. Let's try it out. Mm, it's a good tofu, but in my honest opinion, I don't think there's really anything special about it. It just tastes like a regular tofu, but apparently people like it. But anyways, the tofu is not why you're here. You're here for the beef noodle soup, and I guarantee you, 
this is what you want to get this is so good whether you get just the beef noodle or the beef tendon noodle or the tendon or stripe or tripe absolutely delicious for a second restaurant we are at yong kang nyo ro mian which is right behind me and just like lin dong fan they are also one of the most popular beef noodle soup restaurants in taiwan in fact they have been featured on the michelin guide for so many years and even today they are still featured on it oh man this is one spot i am very excited for look at how many people are inside oh I can't wait. Let's go get some beef noodle soup. So upon coming in here, I should say this entire place is insanely packed compared to Ling Dong Fan, which we went to earlier. This place has way more people. Oh man, this place must be good. Anyways, once you come, you'll be given a menu, which is a pretty simple menu. There's only nine items. But we're not here for everything else. We're only here for one item and one item only. That's the beef noodle soup. And they got two different ones. They got a braised tendon noodle soup and also a braised beef and tendon noodle soup. We're gonna get the braised beef tendon noodle soup because you know, we gotta try the beef noodle soup out. So I'm gonna place the order and be right back. So after waiting a few minutes, my beef noodle soup just arrived. And I have to say immediately, you can tell there's a huge difference between this beef noodle soup and the one we had earlier. This one over here, the broth is, has such a deep red color noodles are also on the thin side and the meat itself the beef you don't really see much tendon on it i don't know what cut of the beef it is but it still looks good let's give it a try i can see this just came out so it's like piping hot right now you see all the steam oh man let's try the noodles first not bad noodle itself it's on the thinner side so not as chewy as the thicker ones we had earlier but still nice and bouncy it soaks up the broth just as well but i have to say the broth i don't know it doesn't really have much flavor to me like there's some spice to it but not as flavorful as the first spot but maybe the other parts of the dish is just as or is better let's try the let's see if i can get a tendon the tendon is so slippery over here let me see if i get a tendon over real fast Got a nice big tendon. Look at this. Look at how big this piece of tendon is. Oh, this is beautiful. Let's take a bite. Mm. Oh, that is good. Like immediately you can tell this tendon was cooked way better than the first spot. Way softer, way yellowier. I don't know, it has, it has like a super gelatinous texture that just literally disintegrates and melts in your mouth the minute you chew. You, actually, you don't even need to chew, it just literally disintegrates. That's how soft this is. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is good. Let's try the beef. If I can work and find it, I kind of buried it in here when I was mixing around. Um, the beef is somewhere. I don't actually know where the beef is. I'm sure there's a beef. I saw it earlier. Where's the beef? <laughs> I lost the beef. Oh, wait, wait. I found the beef. I found the beef. Oh, man, that, that worried me for a little because all I see is tendon over here. So we got a nice little beef over here. As you can see, this beef piece is a little bit different than the Ling Dong Fang area because the uh, beef at the Ling Dong Fang has a lot of tendon inside the beef. But over here, there's no tendon whatsoever. I think this is all muscle or something. But hopefully, it tastes good. Let's give it a bite. Oh, that is good. That is so soft, so tender, so juicy. Just like the tendon, it falls apart so easily in your mouth. Oh, wow. That is a good. So, after trying out two different places, I can already tell the broth over here at Yong Kang Niu Rou Mian is not as good as Ling Dong Fang, but the meat is way better way better meat is so so good i can definitely see why they've been featured on the michelin guide for so many years and running they're the way they cook their meat and tendon absolutely delicious it's just for me personally the broth not much flavor i don't know if i came in off there or if that's how it normally is but the broth itself doesn't really have much flavor to it but when you combine everything together it does taste quite good for instance let's grab some noodles grab some tendon and let's take a bite Mm. Oh, that is heavenly. Not as flavorful as I want, but meat and noodles to perfection. Absolutely delicious. Ooh, that is good. For the third and last restaurant that we're going to on this beef noodle venture on the Michelin tour is one right over here, and it's called Qingzhen Zongguo Niu Rou Mian. It's one of the most popular beef noodle soups, if not the most popular beef noodle soup in all of 
Taiwan. They have been on the Michelin Guide for so many years and highly rated. It's supposed to be one of the best in Taiwan and I cannot wait to try this. I saved the best for that and I am excited. So with that being said, let's go get some beef noodle soup. So I just entered the restaurant. I have to say the inside is actually fairly small and apparently the AC is not working today so they suggested us to take it home to go but we we're like it's okay we can survive the heat. And anyways once you sit down you'll be given a menu as you can see they got quite a few different items. They got cold dishes, fried dishes, steamed dumplings, soups and more. But we're here for the beef noodle soup and for the beef noodle soup they got quite a different varieties. I'm not sure which one's the beef noodle soup but I asked them what their specialty was and apparently it's the stewed semi-stringy beef noodles. So that's what I got. Hopefully it's good and it's pretty cheap, 20, 30 Taiwanese dollars. Not bad. So with that being said, I'm gonna place the order and be right back. But after waiting a few minutes, my beef noodle soup just came out. I have to say, whoa, this looks so good. Although first impressions I do have to say, it seems a little bit less than what other restaurants have given us. Like the noodles are far less meat. There's not really much meat in here, but it does look the most aesthetic. For instance, there's beef, there's tendon, and there's also vegetables too. Well, it's only one leafy vegetable, but that's about it. Other than that, it does look pretty good. Now the noodles itself are kind of like the Yong Kong noodles that we had earlier. They're on the thin side, but still very nice. So apparently they're like semi-stringy. I don't know what that means, but let's give it a try. Oh, so that's what semi-stringy is. So it's very bouncy or cukey or chewy, you know? Very nice, elastic -y soaks up this broth so nicely and the broth over here is probably the best broth that I had all day it's very spicy very beefy seasoned to perfection this is a very good broth very good broth let's try out the meat now they got this little chunk of meat over here let's see how it tastes look at how big this meat is oh this looks beautiful I don't know what kind of meat it is but it does look good let's give it a bite Not bad. Some parts are a little bit tough, but other than that, beef flavor is so good. I don't know how they seasoned it, but they seasoned it to perfection. The parts that are not tough on the sides, very soft, very tender, literally falls apart in your mouth. This is a good beef. Oh, this part right here, not really my favorite. It's a little bit tough for me. Let's try the tendon though, but the beef flavor is very good. And the tendon also looks good too. Look at this tendon hole. Oh, this is beef. I didn't even know they had tendon on the menu. It didn't say tendon, so. I didn't know they were going to give 10 today, but apparently they did. Let's give it a try. Mm. Beef jello. I said that many times today already, but if you guys never had tendon, you guys are totally missing out. Tendon is one of the best things you can ever have. So gelatinous, so fatty, so soft. And I think this might be better than Yong Kong area. Like literally, the tendon over here is just a little bit better. Yong Kong is good, but this is a little bit better. Beef over here, also very good. Just, I think they gave me the wrong part, but flavor is absolutely off the chart. Oh man, let's try it and mix together. Let's get some noodles, get some beef. Oh, this is gonna be good. Got a nice little, no, no, no. Let's get a nice little bite right here. Get some noodles and meat. Mmm. Mmm. Got some tendon. Mm. Oh, that is so good. I think this is the best beef noodle soup I had yet. Oh man, I can see why they won so many Michelin awards. I think they won Michelin awards for like five years straight. So, so good. And the broth itself is actually really spicy, just the way I like it all. Oh, this is the winner. And best part is, I think in the, their English name has the word halal in it. So I think all the food over here is made in, in the halal preparation, which some of you guys might like. But oh man, this dish is, Oh, nice. Definitely get this time. If you guys are ever in Taipei, Taiwan, come to this restaurant. Don't go to Yong, I could go to Yong Kong too, but Ling Dong Fan, you could probably skip. Yong Kong and this one, so good. And cut, oh man, what an adventure has it been. We went to three different beef noodle restaurants, all which are absolutely amazing. They were all featured on the Michelin Guide. For instance, we went to Ling Dong Fan, which was actually really good. We went to Yong Kong Beef Noodle Soup, even better, but the third and best beef noodle restaurant that I have ever been to is probably this one right here, which is, uh, I forgot the Chinese name, but some type of halal beef noodle soup. Absolutely amazing, from the beef to the tendon to the noodles and soup, 
everything was just so, so good. If you guys are ever in the city of Taipei, Taiwan, definitely consider going to any one of these three beef noodle restaurants. You guys will absolutely love it. And that's basically the video. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next Taiwan video.